Hello, Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise here on the One Tars channel. Uh, oh, don't adjust your web browser. This is not a mistake. You know, at least I don't I don't think it is. When Tiffany asked me if I could guest host on her channel, I couldn't really understand anything she was saying, what with the, the coughing, the wheezing, and the fever-induced delirium. But anyway, here I am, taking advantage of her delirium-induced desperation to talk about board and card games. Now, all I gotta do is figure out how to trigger that snappy theme music of hers. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, there's no way I could possibly fill Tiffany's shoes all on my own. Seriously, I, I have grossly undersized feet. Yeah, it's, it's amazing I can even keep my balance with these. To help me fill the void left by her absence, I've enlisted the help of co-guest host Hunter Shelburne from Weapons Grade Tabletop. Let's give Hunter a big welcome! Being your co-host absolutely doesn't make up for the $50 you owe me, Chaz. Thank you so much for joining me today, Hunter. Seriously, man, I need that money for my electric bill. No time for that. We're here to talk about a nifty little game. A game that's enjoyableness may surprise you. Because when I discovered it, certainly it surprised me. Dude, they're threatening to cut off my power. Now, if you exist on this planet, I'm going to assume that you've heard of, perhaps even played, the often ridiculed game Monopoly. Monopoly's like Scottish food. Someone out there keeps making it, even though nobody seems to like it. And over the years, countless versions, derivatives, and spin-offs of Monopoly have been produced. See, that's the great thing about the current state of Monopoly. If you despise the original version, you can almost certainly find a variation that's great. Okay, well, good. Okay, uh, comparatively less not good. And for me, that comparatively less not good game is Monopoly Deal. See, I totally agree. My experience with the game has been that... <laughs> <laughs> Excellent tip there, Hunter. Seriously, top-notch co-guest hosting. Here's how I was introduced to the Monopoly Millionaire Deal card game. I was at a convention, gaming with some total strangers, and while waiting for a larger game to be set up, one of them asked me if I wanted to play, quote, the funnest version of Monopoly that you'll ever play. A fun version of Monopoly? You're really setting the bar high there, guy. That's like, it's like offering someone a cup of battery acid that whitens teeth and freshens breath. But I was intrigued. Okay, actually I'd, I'd lost my hotel key and I'd forgotten where I parked my car, so I feigned intrigue. So he dealt out the cards. Here's what I found. The object of Monopoly Millionaire Deal is to be the first player to accumulate one million dollars. You'll do this by hoarding cash like a good little capitalist and charging your friends and loved ones rent until they are no longer either. To play, shuffle the cards and deal five to each player. Put the undealt cards in the center of the table as a draw pile. Now on their turn, players simply take two cards from the draw pile and then play up to three cards from their hand. There are three types of cards. Money cards, which are worth either $50,000 or $100,000. These are played in front of you and simply count towards the million dollars you're working towards. The second type of card you can play are property cards. Property cards unlock potential to charge your opponent's rent. The more property cards of a specific color you accumulate, the higher the rent you can charge. Finally, there's action cards, which trigger a specific action you can take, such as collecting rent for a certain color of properties that you own, stealing a property, countering someone else's action, or even taking another turn. The game ends as soon as someone has reached the million dollar threshold. For a game sporting the Monopoly moniker, I was genuinely impressed. You know, and it's been around a while too. In fact, there's a previous version of the game that's just called Monopoly Deal without the millionaire in the title. This original version has a, a few different cards and a few different rules, and some people I've heard actually prefer this original over the current millionaire version. This original version is no longer in print, so if you find a copy of it, oh my goodness, by all means, hang on to it. And no matter what you do, don't go and give it away in an auction or something like that. But who would part their copy of Monopoly Deal? That's crazy. 
Now, the Monopoly Millionaire deal version does suffer from a few insipid design decisions. Several of the property colors chosen include brownish yellow, yellow, and yellowish gold. These are each used as distinct different property colors in the game, but you may need a PhD in color science, which is totally a real doctorate that I did not just make up, in order to notice the differences between them. Monopoly Millionaire Deal is still in print, and can be found all over the place. Your friendly local game shop, Target, Walmart, right here in my hand. Is it the best game in the world? <laughs> No, but it's a fun game for up to five players, takes 15 minutes to play, five minutes to teach, and it's one of my filler games of choice. Oh, oh, and if you're looking for a game that you can lose to your wife 100% of the time, apparently this fits that bill too. Seriously, every single time. Um, well, Hunter, uh, do you have any final thoughts about Monopoly Millionaire Deal? Hold on a sec, Chaz. There's a truck outside. Uh, San Marcos Electric and Utilities? Don't worry about it, Hunter. I didn't leave enough time for your rebuttal anyway. Hey, I hope that you found my review of Monopoly Millionaire Deal as informative, entertaining, and insightful as Hunter has. Thanks again for co-hosting with me today, Hunter. You suck, Chaz. And an extra special thanks to Tiffany for letting me come on to her channel and try to poach viewers while I talk about Monopoly Millionaire Deal. Thanks for having us on, Tiffany, and we hope that you're feeling better really soon. Talk to you later. Monopoly Millionaire Deal. And no matter what you do, don't go and give it away in an auction or something like that. No, I don't know what faces I'm making here. This is a... In order to even be able to tell the difference between them. But they're... I'm just sitting in the dark saying you suck jazz over and over again. This is literally the best video I've ever gotten to do.